Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will talk about how much AI should a DevOps engineer learn. The reason for making this video is very simple. There are a lot of questions floating around. For example, is DevOps obsolete? Is AI going to replace DevOps engineers? If yes, how much AI should one learn? In this video, I will address all of these questions. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Let's get started. To be honest, all of these questions or all of these concerns are pretty valid. If you look at the evolution of AI, you will understand why are these questions floating around. From 1900s to early 2020 or early 2000s, the growth of AI has not been that rapid. Of course, there were some significant milestones, but people were not worried about AI, especially software engineers were not worried about AI because AI did not have that potential of replacing software engineers or even there was no debate about it. Things changed in the early 2020s. There was a major leap or significant growth in the evolution of AI that is because of large language models, LLMs. To be specific, when ChatGPT 3 or 3.5 was launched by OpenAI and when they made it public, that's when common people and software engineers tried these large language models and they really appreciated it. People were, people felt unbelievable to look at the potential of those large language models. Almost every software engineer might have tried these LLMs and asked questions about their day-to-day -day task. Now, because this was very well appreciated, the competitive companies like Meta, IBM, Google, they also started working rapidly on their large language models. Understand this, the development of the large language models is happening for a long time. And they all had the prototypes or they all had version of the large language models, which was not public. When OpenAI made it public, now these competitive companies, they also wanted to launch their LLMs and they made, everyone started made, making it public. Now, because of this competition, there was a significant growth in AI. And people realized these large language models definitely have the potential in future to replace software engineers. Of course, if you just look at a large language model, it is basically you asking it a question and it, it is replying back. So the debate till 2024 was just how many developers a company need or how many DevOps engineers a company would need because a single developer can ask questions to these large language models, get the response back and the developer can replace five other developers, right? Because this developer has become self-sufficient and AI is helping the developer. Similarly, DevOps engineer. So this was the debate till 2024. Things changed again when AI took another major leap or a significant milestone in AI when people launched agentic workflow or AI agents, which we all know. Now, AI agents are something where you give it a task. AI agent instead of a normal human, let's say a software engineer. So just like a software engineer, AI agent would use the large language models, understand the task that is given to it, and it will try to accomplish the task. So basically, AI agents are just like software engineers, but it's an AI. Now the debate in 2025 is that, will AI agents replace software engineers? And let me tell you, there is a huge debate about it. If you follow AI experts, or if you, you know, constantly follow what is happening in the space of AI, 
there are mixed talks about it there are talks that because of the hallucination of the large language models ai agents can never replace software instances and on the other side there is a huge talk that in future ai agents will definitely become self capable or self sufficient that it can replace a software engineer now if you put the debate about aside all of these ai experts agree to a point that ai agents are not at a point in 2025 to replace software engineers that means no company at this point can hire ai agent instead of a software engineer let's say the debate that ai agents will replace the software engineers let's assume that wins still we are not anywhere near to it 2028 2029 you might be seeing some startups working directly with ai agents and with a very less cost compared to software engineers but understand we are still in 2025 so you have a very long runway to go now in 2025 if you are preparing for devops engineer position or developer position or even automation testing position what you need to do what you need to do in this phase of transition is you should definitely focus on your current skill along with that you should learn ai assisted development or ai assisted devops or ai assisted qa whichever field you are in now for the purpose of video majority of you are devops engineers or aspiring devops engineers so let's understand what should a devops engineer do in 2025 and how much ai one should learn so if you are an aspiring devops engineer in 2025 you should definitely focus on the traditional road map if you look at our road map you should start with linux then you should focus on basic shell commands git ci cd ansible basic terraform docker kubernetes monitoring cloud platform then you also need to learn terraform to very good extent and python so this is the road map you should be still following the same road map in 2025 because to hire you interviewers are going to ask the questions on these topics but to be on par with the market once you join a company definitely you will not be writing all the terraform code for the interviews you need to learn it but once you go to the company your company also today encourages you to use copilot or your company would encourage you to use the small large small or large language model that your company has built for local llms to improve your efficiency right every company is encouraging software engineers today so you should also be learning how to use this ai i'll give you some examples as devops engineers you should understand how you can use ai to reduce the it operations which is ai ops you need to learn how to use ai to write terraform or infrastructure as code much better you should learn how to perform kubernetes troubleshooting with ai saying that you cannot skip these fundamentals one track is for your interview or interview questions and the other task or the other track is basically for you to be on par with the market and to improve your efficiency on the day to day tasks right so i'll try to make it simple one more time do not skip the skill that you are learning if you are a devops engineer please try to focus on the road map i'll also put the link in the description along with that also learn ai assisted devops don't worry we are going to do that ai assisted devops in march where i am going to cover what are these llms what is prompt engineering i am going to talk about hugging face how to download the models locally how to make api calls with these models how to use copilot how to use ai assistant along with that we will also learn ai ops so everything will be covered if you can wait wait till march otherwise you have plenty of resources on the internet so i hope i have cleared your question how much ai 
should a devops engineer learn basically the extent of ai devops engineer needs to learn is to use ai do not focus on building ai models that is not your cup of tea or that is not something you would do building large language models is only for the top 5 to 10% companies if you want to become ai engineer ml engineer yes and if your aspiration is to go to those companies yes you should be learning it otherwise majority of the people right now are focusing on how to use these large language models how to use them better how to use ai better to improve the efficiency today i take less time to do youtube videos less time to write documentation less time to prepare architecture diagrams because i'm better at using ai i'm better at prompt engineering you should also focus on that that is called ai assisted devops you will get much more clear picture when we do that ai assisted devops playlist for now i hope you found this video very informative if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section or you can also join our discord using the link and post questions i'm more than happy to answer all of the questions around this topic because it's very important at this point of time so i will take that responsibility to answer all of your questions please post them below see you all in the next video take care bye bye